Welcome back to another tutorial. I am Tony GFXOnline.com, better known as I am Tony GraphicsOnline.com. So, what we're going to do today is show you all how to make a party flyer. A party flyer is usually a 4x6, which is the vertical size, 6x4, horizontal. But today, we're going to play with the um, vertical. So, what you need to do first is find you a picture. I usually go to Google. Uh, Official PSDs would be your best friend. So let's say I want to find me a stock. I'm going to find a beach, something like that, a background. And hold on, let me turn the TV down. Sorry about that. So for instance, let me find. I know there's a good one on page three. I think it's page three. Okay, for instance, I'm going to use this Jamaica Beach. I have a Mac, so usually I just drag it over. But if not, you can download it. Click full-size image. Drag the image off. So back to Photoshop. So now we're in Photoshop. File. Open. Grab your background. Um, for a simple flyer, what you can do just to get started, drag that off. Then drag it back onto this layer. Put a layer as your background. This is my background layer, which I'm going to use. Cool technique I usually use so that I don't have this line here is create a layer mask. Go to my gradient, which is in my paint bucket. And then, you know, just give it a little blur at the bottom so that this line isn't showing. And I had a picture of a girl. Find you a nice person to put on the flyer. Put her right here like this, and then someone's always has someone always has to be presenting the party, right? So next we get our text tool. Down here you can change towards your left at the bottom the colors, and I'm going to say I am Tony Graphics presents. Change my font size to about 48. Uh, still too big. I am Tony Graphics Online dot com. Presents. We'll make this bigger. And what you can do is you can bring it closer and together by clicking on it's at the top. It looks like a little notepad. Click on that. You can change the different sizes of your spacing. Present. We'll leave this white since it sticks out. And also with her, like I did in the background, create another layer mask. Blend her in with the image. There we go. Okay, now we need to talk about what the party is going to be about. So let me get a big font such as Impact. That's a great font to always use. Make it a little bit larger. We're going to call this party... Stilettos. Oops, we're on the white font. Change it to red. Oh, uh, no, it's not called like that. She know. Go down to the next line. And my spacing is too close together, so what I'm going to do is turn it to auto, where it automatically picks, but for me, that's still, that's too far apart. So I'm just going to configure it manually. Once again, this is just a quick flyer that we're just throwing together to show the basis of how flyers are made. I'm going to put a gradient on this part right here so it stands out a little bit more, looks better. Boom. Change my gradient up a little bit, give it a cool look. In CS4 and all the other ones, you can double click, copy, and paste, and just add it to another layer. It'll do the same exact thing. But I'm going to keep that white at the top. I'm going to change this bottom part black so it gives our flyer a tighter look. There we 
we go. So next, I mean, for a party, we have to know where it's at, right? So this party is going to be at Malibu, California. Once again, this is a random flyer we're just creating. So don't go out and get your outfits and everything. Okay, the address for a flyer is usually on there. So we're going to say 7816 UTK Avenue. A great font for addresses and small things is called Bank Gothic. It's very uh, a long, slender font that you can always use to fit in areas where the space isn't too big. There we go. And a date. June 18th. I'm going to use this cool font called Mustang. Take it off all caps. June 18th, 2011. Place that there. So all we really need to do now is just add some color. I think I'm going to make this. What's a great color, y'all? What do y'all think? orange yeah that goes with the background pretty well and I'm just gonna copy this since we're working with the CS4 and paste it to my other layers and look we have a party flyer something that you can do which is kinda cool is you can duplicate your top layer drag it down go to your layer palette put it behind all the layers and then just fade it out so it appears real lightly and just bleeds through there take up space let me put a drop shadow on here we can work with those make words stand out a little bit bolder and there we go we have a party flyer even though it's definitely not the best of the party flyers we offer very better flyers than this but this is just a you know two minute flyer thrown together to show you the concept of how a flyer is made so once again, this is another tutorial from IamTonyGFXOnline.com.